Hello Mares, welcome back, this is Blocks, and today we're cracking on with another episode of Sim City Build It. So we're just waiting for the update to finish here, hopefully that'll go through soon, and then we can open the game and launch it. There we go. And we'll take a look at the text that's in the game about the update. There's been some new Tokyo Town style buildings added, which we're going to take a look at today. We're also going to catch up with my latest Contest of Mares result. It's actually Friday and I've been so busy, I haven't actually had a chance to check it since Monday. And I think, I think I'm going to be okay. I left, I was about 10th or 11th place. And I think it was top 20 for promotion. So fingers crossed we're going to be okay. But yeah, we'll see what that's like when the city loads. And I'm also looking forward to seeing some of the update stuff that's coming. So we've got a, a fish market in there apparently. And a nursery school it looks like. A new education uh, building which is really cool. So here we go, looks like it's loading in. Yep, there we are, fantastic. Right, let's check out the new messages. Special offer bundle, not a particularly good deal. Let's get rid of that and pull up the message. Spice up your Tokyo town. So it is a sort of Tokyo themed update. Delight your citizens with new Japanese inspired buildings. Relax in hot springs filled with playful monkeys or head down to the hustle and bustle of the fish market to pick up the best deals. There's also a new nursery school uh, for the little ones plus a timeless old palace park that's perfect for a quiet moment. Build them now in your city. Well, let's have a look at those first and then we'll go take a look at the consist of mares. So the fish market, 18,000 simoleons. Let's find somewhere to put this temporarily so I can show you what the building's like and you can decide whether or not you want to put it in your cities. Drop it in there. Oh, it's quite colourful, isn't it? Oh, I like that. That's nice. <laughs> Look at the size of those fish. I guess they're supposed to be uh, tuna, maybe? Oh, that is good, though. Could definitely see that fitting in really nicely near a sort of a food um, themed kind of market area you could put it with maybe the donut shop possibly the fast food restaurant it's sort of pushing it a little bit isn't it but you could pair it with those two it's got a sort of a food theme to it oh the device is lagging quite a lot today uh, let's go and grab the rest of those items so what else was there should be in the parks menu right Yeah, here we go. Ooh, gone whizzing past them. So the old palace park. Wow, that looks cool. 480 sim cash. Ouch. Expensive. Let's drag it out as best we can to look at it. Oh, it's got some nice sort of Sakura style trees there. That looks pretty cool. So that's a 4x4 four four, that looks like. Or was that a 3x? Hang on. 1, 2, 3. No, it's a 4x4 four four building. That Yeah, that's pretty nice. Definitely can see that fitting in with Tokyo themed buildings if you've already got some of those in your uh, city. Let's take a look at education. Then we need to find the hot spring. So this is the nursery school. Oh wow, that's very colourful. I guess that makes sense. Let's drop one of these in and have a look at that. Oh, that's quite nice. Good size. Looks like a 2x2. Two two. Maybe the other one was a 3x3. Three yeah, actually it was a 3x3, three three, wasn't it? Not a 4x4. Four four. Yeah, 3x3. Three three. I was looking, I think I was counting a road twice there. Uh, we can afford the nursery school, so let's go ahead and drop that down and show you it in game. Oh, you get a nice little animation on there. Quite a few little things going on. You've got a roundabout in the background there. Uh, two children kicking a ball backwards and forwards. And another one around the front here going up and down the slide. <laughs> That's pretty nice, actually. This is one of the smoother animations they've done in the game actually that's that's a really nicely put together animation yeah good job on that that's cool yeah that looks good um where are the other ones 
It was a hot spring, wasn't it? I assume it's in parks, but maybe it's maybe it's not. I didn't see it. Perhaps it's in entertainment or something like that. Let's just have a double check. I haven't missed. Ooh! Casino City sign looks like it has stayed. I thought they got removed. That's interesting. Oh, I hope they're back. That's good. I do want that for my city at some point, so that's that's good news. Yeah, it looks like it's not in that menu. So let's try uh, entertainment. So we're looking for hot spring, aren't we? Is it in here somewhere? Globe Theatre, Sumo Hall. Mm, doesn't look like it. Ah, Sims Nightclub is here as well. Cool. Awesome. I can't find it. Where would it be? Uh, landmarks, maybe? Have I just missed it? Maybe it's a limited time building and it's just not out yet. Why am I going backwards and forwards to the menu here? Right, let's let's start again. <laughs> right, hot spring thing, wasn't it? Hot spring park or hot spring something or other. Just double check I haven't missed it. There's a casino city park. Yeah, swimming pool, golf course... No, it doesn't look like it is in there. Okay. Scroll all the way to the end. Right, and then let's just let's just check them all. Oh it's it's in landscape. Oh that makes sense, I suppose. Ah oh, 180 sim cash for that as well. Ouch. That's a nice looking building though. And that is a three by three. Yeah, the other one was a three by three. I think it was just getting thrown by the size of the road. That's really cool. Oh, I like that a lot more actually than the other one. That's really nice. I can imagine that these are going to have lots of like steamy clouds and things on it. I'd love to be able to show you that in game properly so you could see it, but unfortunately I haven't got the sim cache at the moment. I can't afford it, so um, no chance. But you can sort of see this. You can see this in your own city if you kind of drag it out into the uh, city like I've done and as long as you don't place it you're not going to spend the sim cash if you've got it so you can kind of get a feel for what it's like in your city I'm hoping that EA are going to sort out the demo, demo city again soon and I'll be able to show you all these buildings and help you make choices about kind of what you want to buy for your city and whether or not it'll fit and all that kind of stuff again but until they sort that out we, that kind of series is on a bit of a uh, hiatus okay well that's the hot spring very nice hot spring. Uh, let's go check out the contest of mares. Hopefully, I'll be okay to get in this week. Oh, and of course, yes, if you haven't already seen online or you haven't checked this out in your own cities, there is what looks like the ruins or foundations or something of some kind of building here by the contest of mares. Now, I have got some idea what this might be. Uh, but I'd love to hear your ideas as well. There's a bit of a thread going over on the SimCity Build It subreddit uh, about whether this could be some kind of Contest of Mares related building or some kind of new park thing or all kinds of stuff. People have got loads of suggestions over there and I'm just kind of repeating what they're saying there. But yeah, speculation. What do you think it might be? I'm sure it'll hit our cities fairly soon. Uh, Townley, congratulations, you won small prize. Did we get the building, though, and get promoted to City League? We did! Yes! Fantastic. Where did we finish, then? We must have been... Ooh, hang on. Oh, no, that's... Oh, I can't see the result because the new contest has started. Oh, dear. That's a strange shame. Okay, well... We have got to get ourselves up to 20th place. Okay, they're only on about 10,000 so far, so we should be able to do that. Uh, London Town Buildings, Disaster Zones. Yeah, okay, there's a couple there we can... Oh, we can actually probably do one of those straight away. I normally have a Simoleons lot standing by, and I'm fairly sure I have, so let's do one of those on camera straight away. There we go. Boop. And easy as that. 1350 plumb bob points done. Fantastic. Right, let's have a quick look around and see if there's anything else in terms of the update that has changed or I haven't spotted. Or well, there's something else in the patch notes that's different. 
I did see a couple of reports about some of the colours feeling a bit more vibrant in places from some mares. I'm not really seeing that in my own city here though, so... And it is still a little bit of a mess, but I am working on that, and as soon as we've got time, we're going to get this all sorted out and reorganised. And hopefully get back to making tips and tricks videos soon as well. I've got a plan for making that happen, and I'm looking forward to trying to get that going. So I'll tell you what, to finish up this run-through, why don't we go ahead and do a daily golden chest? What do you reckon we're going to get? A little bit of sim cash? Maybe some simoleons, golden keys. I hear you can get platinum keys now, so I'm kind of hoping for some of those. Let's go ahead. Platinum keys and simcash, please. Claim. Oh. Oh. That's a grotty chest. <laughs> oh, dear. That's a big letdown. <laughs> well, I did get a good one uh, last week. I think I got, like, two little bundles of simcash in it, so... I guess it you know, evens out, but yeah, a bronze token, uh, a gold token I think it was, and then a Paris Town item. Not the best. Not the best at all. Anyway, I'm going to keep it short for today, so it's good to be Matt Mears. I'm going to try and get a video out um, hopefully next week, if there's time. Uh, it might take a little bit longer about EA Play and what I did over in Los Angeles recently in Hollywood. Uh, EA took uh, a bunch of us creators out there uh, and it was a really, really cool event. I've got some photos and stuff I can share. I think I've got a little bit of video as well, so I'm trying to put together a uh, kind of video and sort of episode kind of overview of that uh, trip, but it's a bit challenging because I don't work with live footage very much, so I've been battling a few problems with the uh, Windows Movie Maker editing software I'm using. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Hope your cities are doing well, Mayors. Let me know how you're getting on in the contest of Mayors and what you think this new building might be. And I will catch you next time. Take care. Have a great rest of your weeks. Bye-bye.